This is the new MS2 Pro, and I think it's the best multi-material system, which can also dry filaments the right way, not just by heating them up. I did many tests with thermal camera and sensors, and I also built a custom rotating system to properly measure it. I'm gonna show you more details, let's take them step by step. First of all, this is compatible right now with the H2D and also with the X1 series and P1 series. And in Q3 this year, will also be compatible with the A1 series, which is very cool to see. The new AMS can be daisy-chained with the original one. For example, all of these are connected to the X1 Carbon, and you can see them on the screen. You can of course have a similar setup for the P1 series. And to use the drying functionality on X1 and P1 series, you have to get the additional adapter, or choose an existing bundle. And another example, for the new H2D, you can reuse the old AMS units together with the new AMS2 Pro and also AMS HT. This way, you can have up to 24 filaments at the same time. And something which I now appreciate is the tool-free maintenance. Now if your filament snaps inside the PTFE tubes, it's very easy to take it out. The infeed system has now a ceramic inlet, which makes it very durable. And the motor is now brushless, and also 60% faster. This means faster print time for multi-material printing. And now let's come to the most exciting part. Filament drying. This is how easy you can enable it, directly from the printer screen. And it's so easy to use. And because the AMS has RFID readers, it knows which filaments you have inside and helps you to set the right drying settings. And of course, you can 3D print in parallel from another AMS. And now the best part, which I haven't seen on any other dryers. It has electromagnetic shutters to actively vent the moisture out. This is very important because it's not enough just to heat up filaments. You need to exhaust the moisture. I used here a smoke machine to show that. When drying is finished, they remain closed. And because the AMS is airtight sealed, it keeps your filaments dry inside. From my experience, many dryers on the market just heat them up on one side, while having a difference of almost 20 degrees less on the other side, which is not enough to properly dry filaments. This problem is not easy to fix, because we like transparent enclosures, which are thin, and because of this you get low temperatures on that side. I think Bamboo Lab came up with a great solution, by rotating the spools, and because I wanted to measure this precisely, I designed a system which allows me to install four temperature sensors around the spool. And as you can see here, the temperature distribution is very good, which ensures a proper drying. Of course, I tested many third-party dryers over the years, and my conclusion is that most of them are simply not good for drying. If you're interested in more comprehensive testing, just write me in the comments. And if you're considering the new AMS2 Pro, get it. It's really, really good.